Hey guys, it's your boy Caesar here, and welcome back to Auto Tech TV, where we bring you technology clear and simple. We got a savory video for you today. I'm talking about Doritos. Not in the sense of a crispy, delicious chip, but one of the most unique engines out there, made famous by Mazda, known as the rotary or Wankel engines. I said made famous by because most people associate Wankel rotary engines with vehicles such as the RX-7 and RX-8. But the fact is, Wankel engines have and are still currently used in everything from snowmobiles to speedboats to airplanes and even space vehicle launch systems. So let's go over how this works. Instead of pistons going up and down like a yo-yo, the rotary engine has a triangular rotor that spins around like a breakdancer on a sugar rush. This rotor, my friends, is the star of the show. It pirouettes within a housing, creating a magical dance of combustion and motion that would make even the most serious engineer crack a smile. Now, imagine the rotor as a mischievous chef in a kitchen. As it spins, it visits three separate chambers each one representing a different course in a gourmet meal. First, it gracefully invites a mixture of fuel and air into the chamber, like adding ingredients into a pot. Then, with the flick of a wrist, it compresses this mixture, squeezing it tighter than your pants after Thanksgiving dinner. But wait, there's more. Just when you think the rotor is done, it ignites this compressed mixture, creating a fireball that would make a dragon jealous. This explosion pushes the rotor forward, propelling the engine with a force that could rival a rocket launch. As the rotor exits the chamber, it elegantly exhales the spent gases, like a happy dragon blowing smoke rings into the sky. Why isn't this engine more popular if it's apparently the eighth wonder from a performance point of view? Well, one reason is that the people over at Mazda were kind of exclusive with it and prevented them from spreading development of it by others. Another is that internal combustion engines were kind of looked at as being in their end of days, so that no one would invest in an engine running in an auto cycle, which even though it has a weird shape, the rotary engine does follow the auto cycle, does have the four strokes of intake, compression, ignition, and exhaust the same as a conventional piston-driven engine. However, it does have its own performance limits, just like all internal combustion auto cycle engines have their limits. And in a world now full of EVs with all this instant power, you can't really match it with the electric engine. So no one went ahead and invested to try and improve upon this design. The beauty of the rotary engine lies in its simplicity and its ability to spin faster than a scroll on caffeine with fewer moving parts than a Rubik's Cube. It's a mechanical wonder that brings joy to the hearts of engineers and enthusiasts alike. However, it does have its fair share of downsides. Firstly, fuel consumption is a major drawback. The rotary engine tends to be thirstier than its piston-powered counterparts. Secondly, the issue of oil consumption arises. The rotary engine has a penchant for oil, consuming it more than traditional engines. This means you'll need to keep a close eye on the oil levels and be prepared to top it off regularly. It's like having a demanding, oil-loving pet that constantly needs attention. Lastly, emissions become a concern with the rotary engine. Its combustion process tends to produce higher levels of pollutants, making it less environmentally friendly. In an era where reducing emissions is a priority, the rotary engine struggles to meet modern emission standards. So, if you're an eco-conscious individual, the rotary engine may not align with your green aspirations. For more car content like this, and to see our upcoming coverage of car shows, don't forget to like and subscribe to Autotech TV. Technology, clear and simple.